Well, we begin tonight with the school district in distress as it grapples with a budget deep in the red. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. The Wayne Westland School District has to find a way to cut millions of dollars from the bottom line. A huge crowd turned out tonight as the board considered pink slips. 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenida has the outcome. A decision was on the table tonight to lay off custodians, social workers for the school district to make up some lost funds. That decision was voted down to a round of applause. Mr. Cox? Yes. President Gray? Yes. Motion carries. It was a packed auditorium at John Glenn High School Thursday in what was a heated and at times unorganized Wayne Westland special school board meeting. A contract can be amended. I'm sorry, I'm speaking now. The meeting started off with a change in leadership and a change in board presidents from David Cox to Bradley Gray. But that was just the beginning. The reason the special meeting was called and the wave of red attire in solidarity was all due to a decision on the agenda to lay off around 20 staff members to make up some of the district's financial shortfall. I am asking you to vote no to the layoffs for those people who are in the trenches, specifically those who are working with mental health, the social workers. Please vote no to staff layoffs. They are the back bone, the backbone of this district. We reported to you last month that the district recently found a $17.6 million discrepancy in the school budget that the district has to quickly fix. Laying off staff was one option. If not resolved in a timely manner, this condition may lead to the state treasurer declaring that the potential for fiscal distress exists in Wayne Westland Community School District. In a unanimous vote, the layoffs were not approved. We're not clear of the fund balance. We're not clear. We don't have a plan. There's no vision. And I do not feel comfortable laying people off until we have some type of plan in place. And while the community sees this as a win, it is still a long road ahead for the district. Do you consider this a win? I consider this a great start. Uh, obviously, this is going to continue to need additional work. We kind of need to slow, to slow down, regroup it so that we can move forward. Um, we've known about this issue for a few months now, and it's time for us to actually come up with a plan that is acceptable to the community, to the impacted people, and most importantly, to the students that it's going to affect. But this is not the end of the troubles for the school district who still have to figure out how they got into this deficit and what to do about it. In Westland, Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News. Oh.